hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jibola i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria i make medicine and lifestyle videos and i have a lot of amazing videos for you so do well to check my channel and i'm sure you find something very interesting to watch so today i'm going to be telling you about unimed unimed is university of medical sciences ondo and that happens to be where i school if you check on youtube now about unimed you probably see a lot of videos about the school but you don't actually see a student pov like you don't see a student point of view about the school and that is why i'm doing this video to help somebody come into this school to help somebody that wants to know about unimed someone that wants to be aware about what goes down in this school someone that's planning to come to the school if you have a friend a sister somebody coming to this school you can just show them this video share this video to them because i'm sure they are going to learn a lot from this video so without any further ado let's get right into this video so i'm going to be starting with the full name so it is unimed basically university of medical sciences ondo and university of medical sciences ondo is a government-owned university that is the state university that is located in ondo city ondo state nigeria and this school was founded or was established in 2015. The school is aimed at providing quality education, especially in medical field. And so it is a medical university, the first um, medical university in Africa. So it is the first medical university in Africa. The name medical is actually because it is a medical school. And majorly the courses that are offered in Unimed are medical courses, they are medical related courses. Unimed offers undergraduate programs such as dentistry, medicine, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, medical lab science, physiotherapy and a lot of other medical related courses. If you are looking to come for a medical course, you know, Unimed is a very great school for that because you have the opportunity to also mingle and mix with a lot of medical students. And Unimed also offers postgraduate studies like masters. So now let's go into all the tea. I'm going to tell you guys all the tea that you are not going to see on the internet because this is like the student's POV. So let's get into it. So guys, the first thing I'm going to be letting you guys in on is that the school fees is not cheap. For a state university, the school fees is not cheap. It's quite expensive. Something being expensive and cheap is quite relative to people like some things might be cheap for some people and might be very expensive to others but to my own understanding unimed is not so cheap i mean medicine is like over a millionaire i'm not going to like say anything because i don't know like i've not gotten my facts right but it's quite expensive medicine is the most expensive course but like others are also expensive i'm not an indigenous or on do like on those states because if you if you are from on those states then i think there's like a minus 60k thingy on your school fees but if you are like not from ondo state then it's going to be more expensive than people that are from ondo state so that's like the number one fact that your school fees is going to be more expensive if you are not from ondo state but it's not so much it's just like 60k difference so it's still you know another t is accommodation so for the accommodation right unimed does not have like those regular hostels that you see in other schools but they have like they, they partner with people that you know have hostels around hostels that have security you know have like they call it their hostels like, so if you are coming in to stay in campus it's not like you're staying inside the campus because the school is not yet at their uh, permanent site so everything is still like temporary so there's no permanent hostel you get but there are hostels right there are hostels where you can stay where there are also medical students i think it's two in a room and the good thing is that there's usually all these lights there's there's almost let me say <laughs> there's almost always light in the hostel because i think they share the same lights with the hospital so there's almost always light in the hostel like two four seven 24 hours lights if all things are being equal don't stay in the hostel from what i've heard there's usually always light in the hostel that's that's like a very good thing because i mean you have lights 24 7. but the current price for hostel fee is about 200k i think the last time i paid i paid 170k but i think it's now about 200k per person and two people share a room so that's like you and your partner 400k nothing serious if you think about it you know you guys are going to get 247 light security yeah so there's good security there's water running and you get to stay around your classmates some of your classmates uh, i think those are the cons of staying in the hostel 
and also because of the fact that we don't have a permanent site so what happens now is that they don't have all their hostels in one place so they have various locations for those hostels so we have one at laje uh, where the hospital is we have one at odoshida i'm not really sure of these current locations but i'm just trying to tell you that there are different hostels so you can be in odoshida hostel you can be in laje hostel and all of that and also we also have various campuses like it's not just one campus so we have um various campuses we have the large where the hospital is that's where the teaching hospitals are because we have um kcc that's kidney kidney care center we have trauma center we have modern child so there are a lot of hospitals so that makes it unimed th that's unimed teaching hospital so it's like a very big space where the hospitals are so if you're in your clinical year 400 level upward yeah so you're basically going to have to be there like that's where you run your postings and whatnot so basically that's where you run your postings but from 100 level to 100 level where you see have mostly classes that you be at odoshida that's where most of the classes are the people in public health they also have majorly their classes at bolondro and also the postgraduates they have their classes or their their campus is at bolondro basically i don't think i've been to odoshida in a very long time because i don't have any business there i mostly do my postings at laje which is the teaching hospital because i'm in my finals so yeah you get the gist so yeah so that can also determine where your hostel will be if you get that you can actually stay off campus that is the pro of not being in a private uni because you can stay off k i stay off k i've mostly stayed off k so you can stay off campus and there are also a lot of hostels around the school where you can just rent a lot of students also live there just like i goes in other federal or state schools so basically that's the same vibe so another thing i really love about unimed is that you don't have to worry about courtism like there's nothing like what courtism like is the like people are even too serious to have a social life what do you mean what is in why, why what so that that doesn't happen in my school they're very principled in my school but if you do anyhow you see anyhow literally you have to like follow the rules and you know um be a good student and another thing i so much love about my school is that we don't have to take permissions to go out we don't have to collect um exits we don't have to do all of those things you can just leave school when you want to leave school you can stay outside school like it's not like private uni where you have to collect permission and all of that like it's a good life because you don't have to you like i feel like we're adults like if you're in university and you're an adult so you don't you really don't need people to like tell you when to go out and when not to go out so that doesn't happen in UNIMED. You don't have to call a permission to go out. You can go out anytime you want. You can go to the market. You can go anywhere you want. And yeah, nobody's going to police you about collecting exits or anything like that. So that's also a good thing about UNIMED. Then another thing I absolutely love about my uni is that we have great teachers. Like we have very, very great teachers. They are the best of the best. Like the best of the best of the best. You can guarantee that. So you don't, you don't even have anything to worry about. Like our education is top notch i'm not worried about being inferior to other medical students in other schools because i know i get the best of you know um i get the best of education i get the best of learning i get the best of wisdom <laughs> from my teachers because they're actually willing to teach and they're actually very brilliant set of you know teachers so it's a privilege that we get to learn under them it's a privilege that they get to train you that you like such great people get to train like such great people in the country get to train you you know it's a privilege so i'm really grateful for that opportunity that we get to learn under these certain people so when you actually think about these school fees you're like no like it's worth it because i know like medicine is not it's not even like outside the country you know that medicine is not cheap so you know that you are actually getting not free i won't say free but like relatively you are getting like a lot for what you paid for have like a big hospital to learn from sometimes we actually have, actually have to move because we have like ondo and Accre. so we kind of sometimes switch from ondo to Accre, but it's nothing nothing serious really like ondo is quite elaborate on its own Accre is quite a big hospital but sometimes you know some specialists are more in a place than the other so they just want us to experience all of the specialties like in medicine like dermatology might not be in ondo but might be in Accre, and they want us to experience dermatology so sometimes we might have to come to Accre for postings but that's like when you get to the clinical year like in 400 level 500 level 600 level and yeah that is you have a boss that that will convey you 
like we convey you to Accra and also take you back. The school also has hostel in Accra. That's the former school of nursing in Accra. It's now where we use in Accra. And like that's where the hostel in Accra is. And yeah, that's that's that about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. In my school, we wear corporate, like corporate shirts. The guys wear shirts, trousers, tie. And yeah, it's not like they wear suit or something like just normal shirt. And the girls wear skirts. Trousers is allowed, so we get to wear trousers. It's not like it's prohibited or something. We get to wear pants. Uh, when you're going for your postings, you wear your word coats. When you're going to the lab, you wear your lab coats. And then there's no color code like they do in some schools where like medicine students have to wear red or blue or green, like a certain color. Why like other students wear this or that? Like we all wear anything we want. There's no color coding. There's nothing like yeah. Just wear what you want. I can wake up and say I want to wear purple, and somebody else wants to wear orange. We can wear what we want to class. I'm very grateful for that. Cause imagine you have to wear the same color every day to school. What? Like oh, you're going to kill the stylist in me. If you're coming to UniMed and you're planning to study medicine, I made a video telling you guys the breakdown of what we do as medical students from year one to year six. I'm going to drop the link in the description box or in the comment section. So just go there. Do well to check the video and like, subscribe, share. And do all that good stuff so now i'm going to talk about the cons like the things that i don't like about unimed and if you don't like that too then just keep it in mind that this is what you're going to come and face like just know that like know it and no peace so number one is that your social life is going to eat the rock bottom like this school unimed gives no room for social life like your social life cannot shine like if you're a very social person like i am it has to die like yes because there's really nothing social about like let's start with the town that the school is the school is in ondo town so there are no fancy restaurants there are no um places to go there's no cinema in ondo town yeah there's no cinema you have to travel all the way to Accra if you want to watch a movie there's no cinema in ondo town there are no fancy restaurants you just have like chicken wrap and you know all those eateries to eat and be happy you just have to make yourself happy like bring out the happiness in you but there's like really nothing exciting about this town but you have to make your own happiness you create your own happiness so there's really no social life like that no uh, and then the school is also a very serious school like you need be so serious if you go and try and be social and forget about your academics you are going to fail you are going to fail my dear so it's a very serious school like you have to sit up and read and study and you know like they are all about that life it's a very study 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 school so if you are not up for a lot of studying and less social life then maybe you shouldn't think about this school but it's not so bad you can cope yeah because you know the school the students organize parties you know yeah and there to make life interesting for themselves but all in all is a very great school if the doctors are on strike most times we also don't get to go to school we go to school if the consultants are around but like there's no ASU strike like ASU strike does not affect my school that's why it's, it's a very fast fast school ASU strike does not affect my school all those random strikes don't affect my school that's a very amazing thing but like if doctors are on strike then we might be on strike but doctors really go on strike like like once in two years doctors don't really go on strike and even the, even if they go on strike like say one week three days is nothing alarming so about that that the school is amazing because we, we really we barely have strikes like barely have strikes and then another thing that is not so amazing is that there are only medical students here like everybody we are all medical students you don't get to see economic students law students agri students like other federal schools that you have a lot of variety like a lot of people like yeah they don't even nobody sends you everybody's a medical student yeah nobody like nobody is really interested in what you are studying because we're all studying medical related courses it's like a community yeah so this video is not going to be so long i really don't want it to be too long and boring so i'm just going to like summarize everything so unimed is a very good school they have graduated two sets of medical doctors and two sets of dental doctors and that's really great all within the space of eight years and that's really amazing and yeah i'm 
in my final year of course i'm going to graduate in this year and that's really amazing also and it's a rapidly growing school with so much potentials the school has gotten a lot of achievements in such a short time and that's awesome if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share subscribe and do all of that good stuff i love you guys as always and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.